One thing that I always like to remind people about is the most real thing. What do you think it is? If I were to ask you, what is that? One thing that's definitely going to happen to you. What is it? Say it again. Death. Death. As Muslims, we're not scared or frightened, but we have to prepare for that day. It's going to be a beautiful day, inshallah. Beautiful to go back to your Lord, meet your Lord. Imagine. I mean, we're not going to let our health be wasted just because you say, oh, I heard it was, it's going to be a beautiful day. And so therefore, I'd like to get there like tomorrow morning. No. But the reality is, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu O you who believe Ittaqullaha Be conscious of Allah Develop a beautiful relationship with your Lord Wal tanzur nafsum Ma qaddamat li ghad Each one of you should look into what you have prepared for tomorrow What have you prepared for tomorrow? When you're going to meet your Lord You need to take something with you what did you stand for on earth? Was it something good or something bad? I spoke once about social media a few times, but once I said that Allah will show you your own clips and you'll be asked to watch them and then decide where you'd like to go. How's that? People got upset with me. How do you know? Why? Hey, relax. If you're getting angry with me, you're doing something wrong. You should be proud of what you've done. And if you're not, stop it, do something else. It's a fact. I'm going to meet Allah. And Allah says, Iqara kitabak. He will say to you, read your deeds. Read your own book of deeds. Do you not think that this is part of your book of deeds? What you did on TikTok and Instagram and everywhere else. And what you might be doing perhaps on, on Twitter and on Facebook and whatever else it may be. Nobody is saying don't use it. All we're saying is when you arrive on the day of judgment, you are going to be shown what you did without a doubt. Allah doesn't lie. You're going to be shown what you did. So all your moves, mashallah. You're going to be shown them. The last time I did this, people say, Mufti has moves. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> My moves were not in sync with anything. You know, when I see, and honestly, as we scroll, and I'm a part of the social media, I'm sure you know that. And sometimes you do see things, okay? And as you scroll and you think to yourself, imagine the effort that is put in order to get this clip done. Wallahi, if you had to put a fraction of that effort in trying to improve your recitation of the Quran, you'd be the best Qari in the whole world. I promise you. Do you know how addictive it is? Look, a guy like me. And like I said, the gloves are off. I don't want to sugarcoat anything here. A guy like me. Sometimes as you're clicking, do you know how you flick, you quickly flick away from something you don't really want to be involved in, right? So you flick away. That's how it should be. And I'm saying this because let's face reality. I, I'm not going to tell you don't use this. Although you need to be very disciplined. But I'm going to say if there's something and you're flicking it away because you don't really want to go into it. You hear the first two or three words. Do you agree? You hear the first two or three words and sometimes the next one has similar words and the next one has similar words and the next one has similar words and guess what? Those words begin to ring in your mind when you're going down to recline in your bed at the end of the day and you think to yourself, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. When words of Allah should be ringing in my mind, all those words I heard are ringing even louder. I felt that. Imagine what those who are dedicated in this would be feeling. They would spend the whole day behind 30 seconds of words and they would be practicing. I've been speaking to a lot of people in order to try and understand good people, very good people. And they'll tell you we practice for a day, two days before we then post ourselves doing the same or similar. I'm not saying all of it is bad. I'm talking of that which is dirty and ugly in its wording and perhaps even pornographic in its words. 
Remember, pornography is not just that which you view in terms of porn, but even that which you hear in terms of vulgarity to the degree of pornography. So you need to realize as a believer, where do you stand? Or the question I asked earlier, am I going to be able to watch this in the in front of Allah on the day of judgment? And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. MashaAllah. Allah says, اقرا كتابك كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا evidence that you're going to be shown all your videos all your clips all your posts and you're going to be told decide for yourself where do you want to go where do you think you deserve to go كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا you can make a judgment against yourself today that's what allah says so you're going to be shown this. And this is why the ones who used all of this wrongly, do you know what they're going to say? And I know people got upset with me when I said this the last time to say, who are you to judge? I'm not judging. Allah, I'm not judging. We judge ourselves. I don't want to judge anyone. I love everyone. To be honest with you, those who don't fulfill their salah, those who perhaps don't even dress appropriately, those who don't, there may come a time when they would be at a point turning to Allah, perhaps more than I, have or will and others as well. Who am I to judge? But am I not allowed to just remind to say, guys, this is not the right thing actually, or think about it. You can word it nicely. If I tell you, think about it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm just telling you, think about it. Is it wrong? Am I judging? The answer is no. Listen to what Allah says. On the day of judgment, the book is put. Whose book? Your books. Your book is put in front of you. What type of deeds? Allah says, there's the book. Read it yourself and decide where you want to go. So Allah says, فَتَرَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا The criminals, meaning the people who were sinful, they used their time wrongly. They didn't turn back to Allah after turning away from Allah. That's an important way of wording it. Those who did not turn back to Allah after turning away from Allah, but rather turned away from Allah and forgot about him and forgot about the day that they were going to meet him. What will they say? They will look at this book and they will say, what is up with this book? It hasn't left anything. Nothing small nor big. Everything is here. Every deed is in this book. What's wrong? How come Allah's brought the smallest thing here? In other words, Allah is telling us, you know what? The smallest of your deeds and the biggest of your deeds will all be in the book. So I have a problem. And so do you. What is the problem? I need to delete some stuff that I've done. And you have the same problem because you're just a human being living in the same era. So in the same way that I have things to delete, you too would have things to delete because like I said, we're using the same platforms. What to do? Well, you do two things. Number one, seek the forgiveness of Allah. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, grant me forgiveness. Guide me. Oh Allah, open my doors. Oh Allah, strengthen me. And at the same time, make a difference by changing.